ever get stuck in the world? I don't think so. I'm here to give you some tips and tricks in surviving the world. I'm Wild Surviving Expert, Reese Grills, and this is Reese vs. World. I am a professional. Do not try any of this stuff at home. Even though I don't know why this stuff would be at home, but Discovery Channel permits me to say this anyways, so don't try this at home. Today, I'm going out into the Arctic to survive on my own. I was supposed to be dropped off by a helicopter in the actual Arctic, but we're on low budget. So today, I'm going to be venturing out into my backyard. I'm going to be surviving with these supplies, some cleaning wipes, this rubber glove, a can of paint, this random toy car, an empty bottle of glass cleaner, three pencils instead of one, and this empty case for Ratchet and Clank. If you're ready for an adventure in the world, then you're in for a treat. Get it? You are in for a treat, but you're also having you're in for a treat. You know what, never mind. It's time to venture out into the snow. We gotta be careful not to get too low on supplies. But we gotta be careful of wild animals. Let's go. The first thing you need to do when you're lost in the snow is try to find some objects that you could be able to use for supplies. It's very cold out here. It's very dangerous. You could get frozen or something. You got to make sure you're wearing warm clothing or you'll surely die. There's no time to yak, I got to get moving. If you haven't noticed, I've been starting to get really, really cold. I should have worn more things to wear, like gloves or something. It's terrible out here, you do not want to be in this situation. There could be lots and lots of wild animals trying to hunt me down right now. But, uh, I don't see any, but they can be watching me. They could be watching my every move, and I, I don't even know it. Crikey. Studies show that coldness makes you hungry or something like that. But I, I don't care, I'm getting really hungry. If I don't get food fast, the results could be fatal. I got to find some food fast or I surely die. I found some wood here, some twigs. And uh, wood is 100% protein. But I was dead wrong. Do not eat wood, it is very bad for you, and it tastes yucky. I should have brought more warm clothing, because I'm starting to get really, really cold. In kinds of situations like this, where I'm practically dying out here. By the way, don't try this at home. I would normally go ice fishing, but uh, I'm not on a frozen lake right now, because I'm in my backyard. But according to the rules, I'm not allowed to go back inside. This is one of the dumbest episodes I've ever done. Who wrote this? But in these kinds of situations, you can use your glass cleaner to... Where's my backpack? As you can see, I forgot my backpack. That means I left everything inside. So I'm basically screwed. But there's no time to fool around. I got to get moving. The average person would be dead by now because I'm just awesome like that. But uh, it's getting really brutal out here. I gotta find some shelter or food or water or something fast or I'm surely gonna die. It seems I've come across a tree. If I climb this tree, it could be a good source of shelter. Gonna try and climb this tree so maybe I could find a place to sleep for tonight. I can sleep in this tree. But I was never really the best at climbing. As you can see, I'm not exactly doing the best job at surviving in the Arctic. But it could be worse, I could be being mauled by a polar bear or something. But considering that I lost all my stuff and left it behind, I'm getting really thirsty and I gotta find something to drink considering I don't have any water with me. So what a smart survivor would do is would try to eat the snow. Ah. <laughs> Sc 
crotch that. Do not eat the snow. As you can see, it was yucky. The average person in this situation would surely die. I got to keep moving or I'll surely die. My feet and my hands are practically numb right now and I can't feel a lot of parts of my body. Ugh. It's getting really bad out here. I'm starting to get really, really hungry and really thirsty. But it seems I've approached a good place to sleep for the night. It may not be the comfiest, but it'll do. A silent night, my butt. It's cold in here. Ugh. Hey, Mr. Cameraman. What? Can you tell me a bedtime story? No. Please. No. Please. I'm not. No. Please, please, I'm, please, I'm not going to tell you a bedtime story. Please. No. Fine. Be like that. By this time, my butt is basically an ice cube. Can I please just go inside? No, sorry. Oh, come on! Fine. These situations are very dangerous and I gotta keep moving or I'll be spotted. Just a few weeks ago, two teenagers in Arizona were having fun in the snow and died from extreme coldness. It seems I've come across the lake of water. My luck could be finally getting better. Lakes like this one are very good for drinking. I could drink this water and then I won't be dehy dehydrated. Water's frozen. <laughs> I forget that. Another solution is you could try to cuddle with the tree, try and get warm. You know? Okay. Um, uh, all right. Uh, okay, I'll be there in a sec. My manager just called me and said I have to end this episode shortly or I'll surely die. So, uh, I'll see you guys later and see if I survive my next adventure. <laughs>